Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. Uh, I want to shoot a video today on actually uh, poop. It's a you know it's it's one of the topics that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Uh, some people don't even want to look at it, and I understand that because I don't either. But I'll tell you this: that it is an important thing to understand when it comes to your health, and it's an easy thing to understand. It's a huge insight into how healthy your body is. And so the first thing I'd ask you is how often do you use the restroom? How often do you poop? Right? Um, we're actually going to use the word number two because the, just the sound of the word poop makes me grossed out. I don't. I, I'm, I like everybody has their thing, and I just don't want to. I don't want to hear about that. So, but I want to talk about it because I know it's important for your health. So, how many times a day do you go number two? And uh, that really matters. And a lot of people would say, "Wait, every day?" I've had people come into our clinic that go once a week, and they think that's normal. And I think it's, it's no big deal because they've done that their whole life. Well, I'll tell you this: if you don't go every single day, then your body is unhealthy. Okay, let me just say that again. If you don't use the restroom, no, go number two at least once a day. And I would say you need really more than that. Then your body is unhealthy. And notice it tells us that your body is either in a complete stressed response and it's not digesting food very well, which means that food will sit there. It'll ferment. It can uh, create uh, bacterial infections. It can create uh, yeast infections. It can lead to an extra stress on the body. It's just a, a, a toxicity buildup will happen. You know, your digestive system is where you absorb all your nutrients and minerals from the food that you ate. And if it's not working properly, that's a big health issue. Okay, so if you're not going at least once a day, then we need to evaluate why. Now, if that's you and you're like, hey, I, I don't go enough, I know that um, I'm constipated. And I've had patients actually too, let me just say this, that maybe you go once a day, but it's not real, like really full, like it's just a, a little bit here and there. And that also means that your body's unhealthy. It tells us that your body's not digesting food well. A normal, uh, a normal should be once to twice a day at least, and that is a full, happening a full uh, you know using the restroom and that tells us that your body is working properly and it needs a, 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 a normal structure to it I'm not going to go into the color and the and the and the and firmness of it because to be really honest with you it grosses me out I don't want to talk about it so there's good videos you can watch about that but if you're not going often enough that's a big deal and so how do you tell what's happening in your digestive system and how do you do things about it so I'm going to give you one first tip that you can change right off the bat you can do to try to get things moving for you. Number one is make sure that you're eating, you probably heard this before, but make sure you're eating enough good healthy fiber. Now I don't want you to go get Metamucil or any of those over the counter fiber things or anything like that. I want you to eat real fiber. So there's something like psyllium husk, an organic psyllium husk is a good way to go. Make sure it's organic. Uh, you can get, uh, I use a, a company called Standard Process. They have a, a fiber uh, supplement that is made with organic fruits and it's a good fiber for your body. You can eat chia seeds. Chia seeds are really high in fiber, really amazing for your digestive system. There's flax seeds that are really good in fiber. So there's a lot of good high fiber foods. If you're not eating any vegetables, you're eating just meat, you're typically not gonna get enough fiber. So you wanna get good, Fiber, that's number one. Number two is actually test and see why is your body not digesting food properly. So I'm a huge fan of testing the stool. And even though this is, again, one of the grossest tests that we have to do is we give you a kit, you take that home, you collect the stool, you send that out as a sample to a lab, and the lab will test from everything from yeast to bacterial infections. It'll test for um, uh, what the good bacteria looks like in your gut. So what kind of probiotic health that you have, if that's balanced or not. It'll tell if there's any uh, extra fec uh, fat in your, in, your, um, in your poop. That's a big deal. If there's fat in there, that tells us your body's not breaking down fats properly and you probably have an upper GI issue or a gallbladder issue. If there's extra proteins, if there's extra uh, fiber in there that shouldn't be in there, it tells us your body's not digesting food very well. The other thing that talks tells us is if you have a parasite infection. And this is actually very common and a big deal. And so um, one of the main signs of some of these things I just said are going to, is going to be not using the restroom on a regular basis. Now, can you use the restroom daily and, and everything seem good and still have digestive issues or uh, infections in the gut? Yes, you can. But typically, not using the restroom is the red flag that there's a big problem in your health. Now, here's what we do. Number one, yeah, increase fiber. Number two, get tested. One of the cool things that we see with chiropractic care you know, I always bring chiropractic care into things because it's the one thing I've been able to do for patients that makes the, has the biggest impact on their health. And I mean, I can actually see it happen. Meaning uh, when patients come in, one of the main issue, one of the main things they have, no matter what symptom they came in with, within a month of getting chiropractic care is they almost always say they're digesting food better. They weren't using the restroom enough and now they're going, especially for kids. If you have a baby at home or a child at home that's not using the restroom every single day, bring them to a chiropractor, start getting their spine adjusted, and you will almost always see that change. And because here's the reason, many times we're not um, using the restroom regularly because our body's stressed. And the adjustment actually 
puts helps put the body back into homeostasis and balance. And again, when you're not in a stress mode, when you're not in fight or flight mode, you digest food very well and your body will do its job. So sometimes it's just removing interference so your body can heal itself. There's not necessarily a supplement you have to take or a ton of testing that you have to do. Sometimes it's just get your nervous system functioning better because your nervous system controls your digestive system. Let me say that again. There's no when you go to a, a, a when you have digestive problems and you go to a GI doctor. I think that's one of the silliest things we could do, because GI system does not work on its own. It works from a nervous system. It also works based on the foods that you're eating. It also works based on uh, blood flow. It is all connected in one. Hormones can affect it. Bad G, GI by, bad digestive health can affect your hormones. So I'm not a big fan of healthcare being individual. Or I'm sorry, healthcare being uh, at individual organ systems, but as one big picture. Okay, so when you come in like to our clinic with Queen City Health Center, we're gonna be focusing in on a whole body approach and seeing, okay, you're not using the restroom, well, how was your nervous system working? And then, then start to address it from there. So using the restroom on a daily basis, twice a day is essential. If you're not, your body is unhealthy and you have to figure out why, or you're gonna build health issues. It might be disease like heart disease, it might be cancers, it might be diabetes systems from it, hey, it might just be irritable bowel syndrome or ulcerative colitis. But figuring out why constipation is the beginning of all those other things. Okay, cool. Hey guys, make sure you like this and love it and share it. And hopefully that connected with you. If you're someone that's not using the restroom, if that's you, make that change today and it will make a huge difference in your health. You guys have an awesome day.